But when I was in the middle of this kind of big funk about, you know, not being able to write and a bit, a bit blocked, I used to do crazy stuff. You know, I was buying all these new notebooks and writing in the library and in cafes and writing at dawn and writing at night through the night and writing sober and writing drunk. And the worst, the worst stage, I think, the hardest bit was where I, some people think writing is all about planning and structure and some people think it's much more organic, it's much more like improvisation. And I tend to be in the first camp. But I thought, well, maybe the novel is sort of within me, and I just need to kind of uncork it, and it'll all come out. And I bought this ridiculous software program called Write or Die. Uh, I don't know if any of you are writers, but you should try this, Write or Die. Okay. It's a very basic word processor, and you put it on your computer, and you set it to either to a word count or, or a time. You either have an hour or you have 2,000 words. And you press go, and you start to type, and if you stop, stop typing, it deletes what you've written. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! I thought, I honestly thought you were going to say it gives you an electric shock. No, well, that would be <laughs> better. Actually, deleting what better. you've written is worse. It deletes what you've written. So, so for, for the 90 minutes or the hour or the 5,000 words that you've set out to write, you can't do anything except type. And of course, at the end of a week, you've got 35,000 words, and you think this is fantastic until you read it back and you realize that it's just, you know, it's just, it's rubbish. <laughs> it's like you've been, you know, someone's had a gun to your head. And what you have just, you done with that software now? It's on my computer. I, just, uh, I, I don't use it anymore because I realized that you can't, what I realized, you know, after two years was that you can't write an idea that you don't have and you can't write characters that you don't care for. And so you have, to, you have to wait. I don't really believe in writer's block. I, I wrote television, I wrote films, I did other things. But, but for a novel, it's, it's so personal and you have to feel it so strongly because you know, it's with you for years and years and years and, and you know, it's always there on the shelf. And so you have to get it right and you have to f sort of, without sounding sort of hokey, you have to sort of feel it.